Ladies and gentlemen of the Ozcod community and all that SYF TV shoutcast, my co-caster for this evening is a very interesting man indeed. His name is Nightfall. Welcome aboard, good sir. How are you going? Oh, just just wonderful being dragged into cast at 10.30 at night. Thanks, bro. <laughs> That's alright, dude. That's alright. Uh, alright, so for tonight's match, I don't know why it says CGA on the server listing. It is, in fact, a CGA match. It is Rara Avis versus Team of 6th versus 6th. Seventh, uh, Rara Avis is looking to take out the uh, good old sixth spot. Both teams here have uh, lost four games in a row for the season thus far of Cyber Gamer main, uh, the main league. So it's not looking too rosy at all for both of these. They're going to have a tough time getting into the finals. But without further ado, I've been asked to ready up. I'm going to hit my F key. I'm going to head on into what I believe is indeed the knife round. Nightfall, I'll let you take this one. Wonderful. And the bonus is one of these teams is going to break their losing streak. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, knife round. It's it's intense stuff. Everybody legging it to the older, to the middle here, and no, it seems like Ramis are actually going top A, and they're going to do it. Wonderful, but Breezy does take out Fangs and Rohan. Three to five. Breezy takes out Raptor. Breezy going quite large here. Dada takes out Jeff, also known as the Presence. It's all left up to Andy, and he gets taken down by Med. And yeah, Ra take it out. 5 nil. So, uh, yeah, that's the knife round over and done skis. You know, um, very interesting uh, stuff there from the Rara Avis team. Uh, it just coming out nice and strong there. Wiped the floor there, but it does look like they're going to be happy with the defensive starting side of the map tonight. Elevate going to have to go the good old uh, good old attack. And on the map of Backlot Fix, which is in the for the uh, for the leagues, I would usually say the defense has the upper advantage on uh, on this map. They've got those nice nade tosses that they can throw over that that mid sector building, and uh, you know just just in general they can get into the sites way faster to cover them. You know, like it should be on a goodly balanced map. Not for a reason, and I'm expecting I'm expecting some big nades from both teams. You want to see some plus tens. If we see a plus fifteen go out, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be screaming my head off. It's gonna be exciting as all hell. Here we go, into the first round here, ladies and gentlemen. It is Rara Avis versus Team Element. CGM battle of 6th uh, versus 7th. Map of Backlot. Going to be heading on out here with uh, what I believe is indeed Mr. Andy for the Team Elevate. Just throwing the good old nades there into the still section, taking their time getting that bomb here over on the A side. Fortunately though, for the uh, Elevate side of things, Rohan does get taken out by a nade there by uh, KZ. No idea who the devil that is. JT going absolutely strong there against Jeff. Fangs likewise onto Dada. So uh, it's already he opened it. Oh, sorry. It's unfolded to a very uh, interesting circumstance. Ele Elevate here have managed to get a uh, good older. Uh, Good old level of A there. He's got the SMG in hand and he's in a great spot to take out two of the opposing players. He spots one. Is he going to spot the other who's pushed into A there? No, he's not. Good stuff there by Andy who took out a, uh, took out a Ravis player. Indeed, as the bomb here comes into that A section, Andy getting the job done on Mr. KZ. Excellent work. Indeed, 50 seconds remaining in this round here. Uh, for Ravis is indeed the JT who's stuck over in this med mid red shipping container. It's all gone horribly wrong, is the call from Dada. That is well indeed true, as the plant does go down on this A side. And Fangs here and Andy are going to have a nice easy time in uh, covering this bomb side. Good on Andy, spots Mr. JT pushing him through the front side of A there. Gets a nice tag onto him. Fangs cleans him up though from the top side of A. Takes him out with his SMG. First round here goes to Elevate. Great start from the team Elevate. Uh, from the team Elevate. Uh, we've already seen. A Go to Fangs and two for Andy. So great job by them thus far. Nightfall, what do you make of that one? Oh, there's actually some pretty. Sorry, that was a 2v4 if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, Rara just not quite holding down that ace fight in those later rounds. But uh, it's it's one piece down for both these teams at the moment. Rara taking a bit bit more of a. as Breezy takes out Jeff in that mid building. Three on three situation at the moment. With these Rara guys learning from last round, they've actually actually got a play inside, two players inside A, both on those A stairs, one top, one bottom, just waiting for this plant, they can hear some players pushing in, Fangs is right next to uh, both the players, he's just watching that door on the bomb towards the steel side, but other than that, those Rara guys are just going to sit there and wait, as the bomb does get faked out, Raptor does take down KZ, who was top, as Andy takes down Med, it's all left up to Breezy, who is sitting in the track. He sees the player in mid, takes him down with a nice wall back, goes over the planet. Bomb is down. One on two. It gets taken out by Fangs, who is sitting on the bomb site. 
and 2 0 in favor of Elevate here. Indeed, a great stuff from them starting off here. Andy and Fangs just absolutely wiping the floor here against the Rivals guys. They're both on four kills apiece. And I'm once again going to be watching Mr. Andy here who's uh, opted to take the bomb here. Once again, Rohan gets picked off by that early Elben aid there. He's not going to be too happy at all about that as Elevate here is kind of pushing in hard through the Elben. Unfortunately for Andy, it's all he's, he's been dropped by a grenade there, so Dada getting the kill there on him. Excellent stuff indeed here from uh, both both teams. JT drops the Raptor. Things are not looking good at all for Elevate here. Are they going to get a two uh, punch? It would be super exciting if they could. What's going to happen though? Jeff is the last man remaining for Elevate team as Dada took out the Mr. Fangs SMG man. I believe Jeff is tied up in the mid level. Uh, sorry, mid. mid he, gets, he does indeed get dropped by so, uh, Rara Avis. Ra, oh yes indeed, Ra Ra Evis gets the first round there for them on the board. It's a, it's 2-1 to one here in favour of Team Elevate. Yeah, they managed to keep all five of their players alive and set themselves up nicely and managed to get those picks. Yeah, it worked out well for them. But Breezy takes down Fangs and Dada takes down Rohan. That's two players down already for Elevate. They're giving them in a 3 on 4 as Raptor returns the favor on to JT there so three on four Raptor well, actually the Elevate guys are just sort of sitting around this mid building there are two Rara guys as KZ has pushed himself into mid bottom mid he has a player coming downstairs behind him he does get taken out by Jeff as Breezy almost gets taken out by him as well does get taken out by Andy from the Elven it's left up to Med and Dada as my <sighs> But yes, see, two on three at the moment. The Elevate guys are going to rotate this bomb over to the A, uh, the B side, sorry, as Rara. Uh, situated both their players over on the A side. Med's making his way over. He's going to be the closest player to stop this plant. I don't think he's going to try and push it though until Dada makes his jump pass. He's going to walk right into Raptor. He does. One on three. It's all left up to Med. Med takes down Andy. He's got a player to his left in the laundry alley and another one just sitting at the wall in front of uh, ruins there neither of these players are probably just gonna sort of wait for this defuse flash goes over does manage to slightly blind him but he's gonna have to make a push onto his bomb and get this defuse or at least pick both these players but neither of these players are gonna poke they're just sitting there they're like nope you can defuse thanks and raptor will pick up the headshot onto med behind the bomb taking it 3-1 spot Strong here on the attack side of things for the uh, Rara Avis team, which is uh, not what I was expecting at all. Nonetheless, though, Elevate is actually uh, separated on the ladder, only by one position, but I thought this was going to be a super close game. I was really expecting Rara Avis to come out firing here on the defensive side of things. It would be uh, a bit easier for the uh, two sides here, as Dana goes huge there with the grenade onto Rohan, getting the uh, first kill on this round for uh, for Rara. Ferrara and KZ likewise onto Fangs there, so already this is a 3v5 situation in favor of the Rara. He is he's locked up in the good old L bend. He's got the bomb in hand. It looks like he's going to rotate around to this B site, and that is where the uh, other two uh, Elevate players are situated at present here. Jeff just getting tagged up like a Fufo here, and oh my goodness, JT just takes out Raptor with a beautiful headshot there. Present though, just wanting straight back onto him, takes him out. Unfortunately though, he does get down by Mr. Med with the assault rifle. So Andy is the last man remaining for Elevate. He's coming in here through to the second level of mid up that staircase and he's got good to take out here. Job is well and truly difficult for him here. The, the road ahead is uncertain and there's two players here around that mid connector and back tin area. Andy's got to be super careful here. Unfortunately though, Med just pops out from behind that tin and takes him out there over at the rabbit hole. Great stuff here from our uh, app. Just, uh, just very strong here in the defense these last two rounds. That's what I want to see from them going into this. Back to you, Nightfall. Yeah, they're, uh, they're starting to figure out where the Elevate guys are going and they're, they're playing accordingly, which is just to see that teams do still adapt and don't stick with a very static strat. I'm checking out new team here. It looks like there's a bit of a mid-B push by the Elevate guy. It's oof. Four on four straight up here. JT sitting in the tin. He does see a player jump out to mid, and there will be Jeff as Jeff takes out Breezy. And JT picks him up in return as Raptor returns onto JT. Frag's coming out quick and fast here. Med's just tugging under these uh, B run stairs. He's going to try and pick up this planter. And Explosives oh, no, he's planted. Not. He's going to try and get these defuse points. There's a player in him. Doesn't quite manage to pick him up. He gets tagged off a bit as well as Raptor takes down KZ. 
and it will be left up to Med here, who is still below the bottom stage. He's making a push out. A tag to play front ruins. It was Andy. Raptor's just sitting up in a uh, top mid mid, waiting for these. Uh, waiting for Med. So, good issues. Med comes around the corner, and Andy's just prone there in the B street, and like, nope, not even, mate. And he does take him out, taking it 4 2 in favor of Elevate Spot. Indeed, indeed, a great stuff from this Elevate team early on. Andy just way out in front on 7 2 is followed up closely by Mr. Raptor as we look to the scoreboard. Rohan there, I believe he picked up his first kill for the game, so he's avoided the James Bond there. He got the nice nade kill there onto what I believe was indeed Dada. Fangs gets a nice little headshot there onto KZ. However, you better be careful here as Rover's pushing in on through that, uh, that rabbit hole on bottom level up mid there. Look at him, he does get taken out. JT is the last man standing for this Mara Avis team. He's going to take it three, he's going to win this round. The bomb has been planted over at that A site, and he's being flanked now by a Team Elevate player. I believe it is Raptor here, coming in through the third level of mid. Good old, good old JT, he's pushing into that yellow tractor, so he's probably going to be taken out here from the rear if he's not careful. Seems highly suspicious of it. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, though, Andy just togging it up hard on that good old uh, brick on the side of A there. Does indeed drop him, so that takes it 5-2 here in favour of Team Elevate. Yes, Elevate, uh, also it's happening from the look of it. They're just, yeah, they're rolling on it. These Rara guys can't quite keep up. But no 98 kills at the start of this round. All five players are alive for both teams, and it's like it's going to be a bit of an A push. There's four players to Elevate sit around this A side as Fangs takes out Dada, KZ takes out Fangs in return. So four and four straight up here. Med's just gonna sit top A as JT takes down Raptor over at that uh, mid D side. And these last three players for Elevate here are sitting around the A side, front A and side A, with Breezy. Just getting shots off onto play over at the A bricks as Rohan will TK Jeff and get taken down by JT as Med takes down Andy. And that was a really unlucky TK just there. But that will see 5-3 with uh, Elevate just holding onto the lead here. I'm going to be uh, rolling out this round with uh, with a good player by the name of James. He seems to be doing quite a for the Rara team as he gets a nice little nade kill there onto Mr. Raptor. Like quite uh, from the Elevate team. So uh, Nate here just going flying left, right, and center. Already here, this has dropped down to a 3v2. My bad, 2v3 here. Elevate here, got a lot of work to do. Oh my goodness, Dana just unleashes a crap ton of fight. Takes him out. Rohan here is going to take down four if he's going to win this one. He's locked up over at the brick there of A. Gets tagged up heavily. Indeed, he's been dropped there by Mr. JT, who swept through the midsection of mid building there. Took him out with his assault rifle. That takes it to 5 4 in. Still in favor of Team Elevate. But Rara. Pouring their way back into this one, they better, uh, they better be still, they better continue to play strong like this. They're going to need bounce if they're going to uh, have a positive time over on the attacking side of it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this, this, this map is generally known for its defense sort of bias at the start of the round. There's Andy gets kicked for key packet, making an automatic 4 on 5 here. As Jeff is getting quite heavily tanked up around this middle, but they're going to go for a bit of a B plant here. KZ is the one pick up Raptor as Med takes down Fangs, Rohan takes down Med in return. He, Rohan has currently got the bomb, is just walking into a wall as that might actually be me lagging. But he is sitting on this B site and is surrounded by three players. It's one on three. He takes that breeze, he comes out of that mid connect, gets taken down by J2, top 10, and the scores go even 5 5. Huge run there from the Rara guys, but uh, unfortunately Andy did indeed get taken out by I think it was packet loss. So uh, that resets his score, and uh, it was a, it was a 4v5 attempt there. The other guys didn't come up with the goods. I'm gonna be watching Mr. Rover here, who's over at the mid connector side of things for the Rara Evers team. And uh, he's gonna be super careful here as uh, Team Elevate is uh, surrounding that mid building here. And if he's not careful on the pokes, he's gonna get taken out. And he's taking out two. Dana and KZ go down to that one. Indeed, I was incorrect. Rover has been dropped by Mr. Jeff from of mid. Bit of lag there on the server. Dada is not happy at all as to what just happened then. Server is going off its absolute nuts. 300 ping, timeouts all around. Didn't really affect. But uh, that one there goes to Team Elevate. Too strong in that midsection. Taking out 
of the uh, Rara Avis team. Likewise, over at the brick side of things, just a really nice aim by uh, I believe it was Spanks. Mr. Marco? Yeah, these elevate guys I love their mid building. When they get control, boy, do they pull off some amazing things. And, uh, as I said there, uh, it is a 4 on 2 situation. 4 on 1, it's all left up to Andy. He's gonna take on the four players. He's left up to him over the A bricks. He's getting a few tags on to KZ, I believe. And he does get taken down by JT. And the server CIS. Yeah, wonderful. D servers. We've, uh, yeah, alright, all night here. All night here. Previous game, we had to actually go to four servers to farm one that didn't, didn't go absolutely spastic on us. We seem to be back here. That last round there, I think, went in favour of Ra Ra Avis. Indeed, it did. But, uh, quickly, Team Elevate's taken out Mr. Dana and good old Med there. So, uh, they're at a bit of a disadvantage here. <laughs> To this A side, Andy, he's carrying the bomb in. KZ responds quickly there onto Fangs with the 74U at the front side of A. Raptor there onto JT. Things are not looking good at all for this Rara Avis team. They've only got one man here over at the A side. The other man's locked up at mid red shipping. He does indeed get taken out by good old Jeff. Raptor there onto KZ. That was a very fast and efficient round there by Team Elevate, sweeping in through that A side and just their own. That round, so Team Elevate takes this to 7 6. Yes, they do, and uh, just watching all the nerdy nays coming to this Kelvin, and uh, not, not really like what I've seen, there's not that many. But, you know, could have just been an unlucky one. So, full on five at the moment. Rohan's made a nice push through the front of here, he's picked up one player, sees another two bottom mate, picks up KZ. Dardo gets taken out by Fangs, who's pushing in as well. JT takes out Raptors, all the way to JG here, it's sitting over the at this front ruins area, he's making his way in through mid bottom tin. The bomb has been planted by Elevate here. He's got to take down four players from the opposing team. He's gonna make his way through mid, make a bit of noise, pick up a weapon. Sitting on this mid bin, takes down Andy. He's about to get flanked, but gets taken out by Jeff from mid mid. And it goes 8 6 uh, spot. Do you think we could see the last round go to Elevators again? So uh, it'll be it'll be good to see if, if if they can claim this one. If we look to the scoreboard here, we can see that JT here is just the ultimate worker of the team. Uh, he's sitting on a comfortable 15 kills, and he's truly just carrying his team here through this defensive push. Rohan and Andy just smash both KZ and Meta. Both of them have been dropped as once again Team Elevate goes for a very interesting push here. They've decided to have three here over at the A site, and the. the here, carried by Raptors over at APC. He's got to be super careful here as he's met by a player at the front side of A. Breezy Lad just takes him out there. Fangs, though, that's a team to it from Team Elevate. My goodness, that's not good at all. However, though, things, things still seriously aren't looking good for this Lara uh, Abbas team. JT gets a beautiful little hip fire there, caught a little uh, Team Elevate player up in that, uh, that fridge there, second level mid. However, he's, uh, he's, he's now tied up here at Red Shipping Town. That's exactly where he is. However, in favour of uh, JT, he luckily had a smoke in possession. No one out and he's made it away. He's coming around all the way here to uh, that, that side, bottom level, uh, to, to that uh, rabbit hole, I should say, as Fangs gets tagged up heavily by JT's assault fire. He's coming around back to that front. Eye. He's still got the bomb in hand here. 30 seconds remaining in this round. The bomb has to be planted here. Oh, it looks like Fangs is going to go for this kill. JT's just taking his sweet old time. He knows that that plant has to come out here, so he's not pushing up. Uh, playing intelligently, 18 seconds left on the clock, goes for a tingle, looks for the poke, he sees him, bangs, tags, JT up to about 80% damage, he's still alive though, JT just unloads an entire clip onto him, takes out Fangs through the wall bang, good halves go out, at the 8-7 here, that was a uh, really well, well played round there by JT, Nightfall, what do you make of this match thus far? It's a lot closer than I was expecting. I was expecting to sort of see these Elevate guys. I mean, they've been around for a little bit longer than the Rara guys. And yeah, I was expecting to see them sort of use their old school style play to roll out. But yeah, it's it's been a very close game so far. 8-7 is sort of what you want to be with starting on defense for Rara. So they've got a lot of work to come back on this attack side. But you never know what can happen on the map of back with all these nerdy nades. Um, oh, oh right. sure. Just... Oh, okay, all right. You want to take it, dude? It's all good. Go. Yeah. Seem to want to take it. All right. I'm going to be watching good old Andy here. As I, as he, he's a second level of runes here. Gets a nice little kill there. Oh, 
Thompson's just broke up for a while. Uh, Avistain, who was poking out the window of second level mid. However, though, uh, Elevate, she's getting absolutely hammered here at the A side. JT's pushed in all the way onto that side here with the uh, SMG and has just cleaned it up likewise with Dala. So it's a 3v1 situation Explosive here. And he's on 99 planted. damage. The last man remaining for the Elevate team. He's locked up over at Runes here. Things are not looking in his favor at all. Clock here is ticking down. Clark has gone over at the A side. Uh, all the way around here, and there's a fellow for the Rara Avis team over at that midsection. It is Mr. Med hanging out the side of the windows here. I don't think he's going to see him as good old Andy. He's been through that mid midsection. Med here, Com has gone out. Med here's coming around to take him out. Yes, he does. Excellent communication there by the Rara Avis team. Successfully uh, made the most of that round. They pushed into A like an absolute truck, and uh, and just just claimed that round as their own. Great stuff to them indeed. Brings us high rounds apiece. Yeah, it just annihilated that A something. <laughs> I don't think the Elevate guys knew what happened. It was just, it was full of Rara before they actually just got in there. But JT picks up Jeff and agrees it does go down to an Elevate. And Fangs takes out JT in return. Dada takes out Fangs. 3 on 3, Rohan pushing in, takes out KZ. Dada returns once again as Dada takes out Raptor as well. It's all left up to Andy's. Around this midsection again, playing that ruin side as mid is actually next on bottom and mid. Dada gets taken out on the bomb plan. It's a one on one. And he's just gonna sit around this red container and look for this player mid. But mid's gonna make a, a sneaky little push over towards the B side and see if he can't see him and get that pick. But Andy's gonna make his way to these front A bricks and just sort of poke around a bit, see what he can see. Not really seeing too much at the moment, but Med is going through the defense spawn. And he's going to make his way over there as well. And seeing coming out the straight, we'll pick him up, taking it 8-9 as Elevated pulls another round back. Indeed, indeed. If we look through the scoreboard, we can see that JT is just triumphantly out on front here. He's on a magnificent... Ten deaths. However, his ping is spiking all over the place here. Is it 600 ping? That is not good at all. I'm going to be monitoring that closely because, uh... Club of Gamer regulation and ruling. He's not actually meant to be playing with a ping of that, uh... That levels. Nonetheless, Mr. Andy once again as he pushes in through this, uh... Room side. Oh my goodness. The fire is just going all out over at the A side. Rara Abbas has once again claimed this A side. JT has been locked up though on a 999 ping. It looks like he's going to be timed out from the server. So probably a 2v3 here unless he reconnects. Rohan here is coming around. It takes out the planter. Mr. KZ, the bomb has been dropped on the side here. Raptor here is at the top side of A. Dada knows that he's up there. Comes up with his SMG. However, Assault Rifle comes up. Trumps. JT, is he still lagging out? Yes, he is. He doesn't have it, but that's not really going to matter because it's a 3v1 here. JT's going to probably time out. No. He's back, ladies and gents. JT's fixed his ping. He's on 43 ping. He's alive with the assault rifle. And he looks to second level mid. Wipes out Mr. Andy. Oh my goodness. Straight there. Bang on. Amazing, amazing little hit. Next man remaining for Elevate here is Raptor. He's locked up at top side of A. Cops a fire from JT. To that A side, super aggressive round here. 25 seconds remaining on the clock here as he silent climbs up to second level A. This is super impressive work from him. He's got the SMG in hand, he's gonna clutch it. He's brought this one back, boys. Massive stuff from JT. Took out three people to claim that round. And bring the score to nine. Oh, <laughs> JT, absolute Superman. Absolute Superman. I, oh, what a clutch. Setting his ping back to normal, and damn, he, just, he annihilated uh, his. Actually, I think those fangs on Andy over there, they and wow, just that headshot, insane. A bit, three, five, four on four, actually, the nades, and, oh, fangs getting an unlucky tag at the brick. But Dada takes out Raptor in the top air, I believe it was. Fangs gets taken out by Dada, but I mean, it is all left up to Andy. Andy gets taken out in the mid, and 10-9, these Rara guys are sort of trying to pull away on this attack side. As Spud Roddy, actually stops. Good old round here. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. It's all. <sighs> just, uh, I think it's just, just a little bit of lag on one ball. As we see the nades here come out from Mr. JT once again, picking out Rohan. Great stuff from him. Just all around on this map. He just dominated the map of backward. As we see a nice little split here from the Rara Abyss team on this attack push. They've got two over at that A site and two over in that mid. Unfortunately, though, Mr. Uh, Mr. Raptor just cleans up. Uh, uh, believe it is uh, uh, is his name. He's got some ridiculous name. I hate people who alias. Nonetheless, though, it's a 2v2 situation here. Jeff cops a crap ton 
off fire to the face. He regenerates his health. He's over at the red shipping container here. Bomber has not been planted, and he's going to be met here by Ned. He's pushing into that mid building. Indeed, he does take him out. Dano life flies on to Andy. He's a beautiful little headshot. Very sneaky work here from the Rara Abyss team. They're, they're coming into this side side, and just, uh, they're just, they're just, once they get into that side, they just tog it up like little bosses and don't move. And uh, from that, they, they allow the Elevate guys to come in and push and uh, clean up as they come on through. Yeah, so they are just destroying those guys on the outside when they do. So they have no competition at the moment. But Jeff does take out KZ and Dada picks up Rohan. So three on four situation here. Med takes out Andy as JT picks up Rector and Dada takes down Jeff 12 9. These rounds are going quick and fast. That was a damn fast round, that one was. Uh, I'm going to be watching good old Med here for the Rara Avis 10. I think he is in... No, actually I'm not, because the bomb he's going to be what it seems the A site. Very, very slow and quick here from the Ravis team, and they're going to just get wiped out, two of them by nades. Med dead, so <laughs> responding onto Andy. Dada has a bit of the old lols in chat, bouncing off the cast. Supposedly the nade picked him up there. So uh, things are not looking rosy at all for this Rara Avis team. They've only got three players remaining, though. Fangs here, second level A, top side right. Gets tanked up heavily here by Mr. Breezy Lad. And if he's not careful, he's gonna be wiped off the floor here. Presence unloads onto mid, takes him out. Breezy here is, is on the hunt. Jeff's gonna strike twice there, ladies and gents. Takes down Breezy as well. JT Last Man remaining for his team does get picked up there by Rohan, who I believe is over at that uh, second level mid side. Great stuff indeed from Team Elevate. 12 10 are the scores. As we actually look to the scoreboard here, we can see that both JT and Dyla are on a comfortable 25 and 20 frags apiece. Jeff and Raptor doing it all for Team Elevate on 16 apiece. Back to you, Raptor. Yeah, but they are all getting annihilated by these nerdy defense nets, and it's all up to uh, KZ, who does get taken down. All up to mid, 1v5 now, sitting at this bottom mid, gets stuck on the car and gets taken down by Raptor. 12-11, another one of these uh, super fast rounds, but much needed rounds for the Elevate guys. That's certainly going to be the confidence booster that Elevate needs to uh, to reclaim these matches their own. I'm going to be uh, once again watching Mr. Breezy Lad as the bomb is coming in, picking fast from Arava. They're taking their time though. They're it's very, very, very stupid play here from Norella. I have a They're going to Elwin and then they're just waiting. Three of them just popping in the Elwin and they're just getting taken out by grenades. Andy and Fang, the two SMGs for Elevate, just unleash, unleash cruelty onto the Rara Avis team, taking out two of them. Med here is locked up hard in the bottom level of me, taking a lot of damage there from my, what I believe is the second level of A. Basically, the Rara Avis team has got the bomb in hand. He's pushed into that A site. Not going to work for him though. Fang's just fucking it up hard behind the bomb site there. And uh, manages to take him out. Med here is going to have to 1v5 clutch this. I highly doubt this one's going to happen at all because presence here, yes, indeed he does, comes down from the second level of mid. Did the silent climb up that dumpster of mid and uh, successfully took him out there. Another round goes to Team Elevate. They're doing a great job here on this defensive uh, on this defensive side. Let's see if they can keep it up. Yeah, definitely. These last few rounds, just, they've got those nade kills that they needed and it completely shut down Rara. Looks like Rara's actually going to go for a bit of a beef push here. They are, they're all four of the players are one are at front ruin. But Rohan picks up Dada as Dada does take down Jeff. So four and three, the bomb is top ruin at the moment. These players aren't really making a push, they're just sort of in a stalemate, but Andy does get taken down by mid over at that bottom mid area. So three and three, mid gets taken up from top A, but Raptor not quite lucky enough to get that pick. KZ is sitting bottom mid area. He, he knows that there's a player around there, or I believe he knows there's a player, because there's actually somebody top 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is Rohan. He's just, no, he's just praying there, casually chilling, waiting for a plant of some sort. They know what to be. And Rohan gets taken down by Med, and Fangs takes down Med in return. So it's all left up to uh, Fangs here with the SMG. He's uh, Laundry Alley. Gonna uh, not, not quite poke this bomb yet. It was a fake plant. KZ making his push around. Trying to pick up Fangs and Defender's bomb plan here. And he might actually get picked from the side here if he's not careful. He Explosives does get picked, planted. but Casey did catch him. Fangs uh, firing shoots a few shots off with a deal. Gonna come around and try and pick this player. JT is just sitting behind the bomb and trying to uh, use it as a bit of cover here. If he's not careful, he does get taken down by Fangs. Just tricking him coming around the other side of the wall and. Fangs will pick up the defuse going 12 13. I believe this is the Explosives first time they've actually defused. led in this half spot. 
That is correct, and uh, yeah, that's a fangs. He played that as well as any SMG could have. But just, just really solid play. Tricked out his play there. Thought that the fake was indeed coming from JT, and that was indeed the case. That is I'm going to have to really just give him props for that beautifully, beautifully handled round there. Anyway, I'm going to be following. Once again, this Rana Avis team has opted for the B push. They're sending five over to the side here, and if they're not careful, this Team Elevate team is going to be rotating around to wipe them on out as they come on through. However, Fangs here is just all, he's just over at the tin side. Actually, Elevate has got two of the tin here, one in the midsection. Fangs pushing hard into this midsection, managed to take out one. Andy likewise onto uh, Breezy Lad. Med, though, responding quickly onto Fangs. He drops him from the second level Explosive of room. The plant planted. here is coming up here from Mr. JT over at that B side. The plant goes down. Great stuff indeed. Good old Jeff here. Unfortunately for him, he's going to get taken out by Mr. Med, who's still talking up the second level of runes. The clock is ticking down. 30 seconds remaining in this round. Andy and Raptor are going to have to pull this one back from the bottomless pit of hell. 27 seconds. Clock is ticking down. The Rara Avis team are in a great spot to win this. Uh, sorry, to defend this site. Things are not looking good at all here for Andy, as he's the last remaining player for his team. And uh, as he goes in here, smoke is up. Going for a full defuse here. 13 seconds remaining on the clock. Is he going to get dropped? Yes, he is. Med. Very, very cheeky with the Desert Eagle fire. Missed him. Luckily, they had a little bit left in his assault rifle. Whipped that one out and took him down. That there is another round to Rara Abbas. Taking it back to a tide at 13 all. Yeah, these rounds are staying close. No team can quite manage to break the gap of two round difference. And no nerdy nade kills either. I think it's another B push by the Rara guys. Yes, it is. They are all over the space side. They're using. But it has worked well for them in the last couple of rounds. He's got unlucky a couple of rounds ago. Raptor picks up KZ, picks up Med with the scope. He's sitting in the top A and just picking people left, right, and center. Five on three. The bomb is the, at top room for the Aurora guys. As Jeff does take down Breezy and Andy takes down JT. Dada picks up presence though. It's all left up to Dada. He's going to take down four player. Get a bit of SMG. Fire from Andy. Conjoin picks up very hard. And he's quite heavily tagged up, but will get taken down by Fangs coming down the main street. And another round to Elevate. 13 14 in favour of Elevate. Indeed, indeed. If we look to the scoreboard here, we can see that Fangs and Raptor are uh, very closely positioned here on 23 kills and 20 kills. They're doing a great job with Team Elevate. Rah, Abyssy. Mr. Breezy Lad has done a super hard push into mid. That's very interesting from an assault rifle. Took challenge the nade and came up trumps on it. No kills here have gone out. Andy here's locked down that A side. The SMG here. He's going to take out good old KZ from the side there. Excellent stuff from Elevate. Excellent positioning. They've taken out three this round. Presence and Andy just unleashing hell on this uh, Rara Avis team. There we go again. Raptor. Oh my goodness. Is this server lagging? Yes, it is. That is not good at all. That is certainly going to affect how this is played out. KZ though is the last man remaining for his team. Hopefully this Hypernia server can just calm the hell down and we can get on with this round here. Yes, it looks like it is going to. Last man remaining for the Ravis team. Going to be good old Ned, and he's, and he's over at the tin side of things on that on that car. However, does manage to take out Jeff, so Jeff's not going to be too impressed at all by that one. It's a three v five here. Bomb has been dropped over at the brick side of things. Elevate's got one position here in second level mid. Ned did indeed just see his assault rifle poke through uh, the window there. And what did he Didn't seem to uh, take note of that. And Andy does drop him there, leaning out the window there. So that man is miraculously another round to Team Elevate. This is match point, ladies and gents. 13-15 in favour of Team Elevate. Back to you, Nightfall. Yeah. I'm going to roll out things. He seems to be doing some amazing work. He's just going to throw a late neck. Picks up the double kill. Plus 10. Dyer and KZ down for Rara. Med picks up Jeff though. Around that uh, front A area. Raptor picks up Med though in return. It's left up to JT and Breezy. JT is picking up. Oh, tag up the play in front A. I think I managed to pick up the kill. Breezy goes down to Raptor. Fangs goes. Oh, picks up JT. And the GG's roll out 16 13 in favour of Elevate. Wow. Absolutely huge stuff there from uh, Fangs. Just those final few rounds. He, he just came alive, ladies and gents. Uh, really, really took control of the match. Grabbed it by the balls and ran with it. Team Elevate running away with that match. 16-13. Congratulations to them. I believe that is indeed the first win on the board for them this this uh, this season. So uh, congratulations to the Team Elevate guys. It was a well-played match, though, likewise by the Ravis guys. JT was so strong on that defensive side. I, I really thought he could have uh, even gone for the...
the 40 bomb. Fortunately, they didn't quite make it. Nonetheless, though, this has been a CGA uh, uh, cast. Thank you, Nightfall, for uh, co-casting with me tonight. Otherwise, my voice well and truly would have been dead tonight. So, uh, <laughs> cheers to you, dude. Uh, Kinks, I have to also th say a big thanks for you to uh, for streaming tonight. Greatly appreciated. As always, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to another SYF TV Sharkcast. Hit us up on facebook.com forward slash SYF Gaming. Uh, of course, you're watching us on the good old Twitch stream. Hit that follow button to get live updates uh, of when we're broadcasting these amazing uh, Sharkcasts. You'll get those updates on your email or on your mobile phone. You can set it up for whichever one you'd uh, prefer or both uh, in unison. It's, it's great stuff indeed. Thanks for tuning in to another SYF TV Sharkcast, and we're out.